Now, Ronaldo was also very critical of his current United boss, Eric Ten Hag. This is what he said, I don't have respect for him because he doesn't show respect for me. Now, Dutch football expert Marcel van der Kran, he's joining us now this morning to tell us where Ronaldo's comments leave Eric Ten Hag. A very good morning to you, Marcel. Thank you for coming on. Morning, Marcel. Morning, guys. Love morning, Hiya. morning. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I, I would love to find out the reaction from from the Dutch and, and how they feel about this interview. How's it gone down with you guys? Well, I think everybody was stunned, like probably most people, but because Eric Tanach had been making it clear that he'd almost gone out of his way to um, to show respect every time we hear that word, but what what is showing respect? I think for Eric it was that he was treating him in a very decent way, that he was letting him back in the squad after missing the, the pre-season, that he never um, never sort of made out that he was just a player. He, he did realise all the time, uh, him and his full coaching staff, Mitchell van der Haar, Steve McLaren in particular, who who is there very much, to, to put a hand around the shoulders of players because he's been around for quite a while and Eric and Mitchell were new in the English Premier League and set up. And it, it came absolutely as, as, a, as a shock, as a blow, when Eric and his staff saw the interview because it was the opposite of what they expected. They thought, of course, they found out that there was going to be an interview, but they thought, well, it's been going okay. Um I've been putting him back in the side as much as I can, despite him not scoring uh, many goals, not giving the assist he used to have. And I want him to, 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 to go to the World Cup in a good form and a good shape. But it has to be on merit, on, on training well with the boys, on playing well. And despite not creating that many chances as before and not scoring goals, he was supporting him. And I think this is why his comments have hurt Eric and his staff. Yeah, Marcel, I've, I've been a manager myself and I've tried to put myself in both camps and say, you know, see both sides of it. Um, for me, there's just no excuse. I mean, Eric must be feeling hurt right now, but, I mean, he's entitled to change his mind if he, even if he's told Ronaldo you're going to play. Things happen as a manager. Um, that you don't expect to happen, so you can't go through what he said. So there's no excuse on that one. I just think um, he's bang out of order. And and Eric, I think I'd, I've not met anybody who thinks Eric Ten Hag's out of order or done anything out of order. When you when you're handling Ronaldo, it's like holding a stick of dynamite. You've got to, you've got to treat him right. But he's got a a project going on where he's trying to mould younger players into working the socks off. And that you, everyone can see what he's doing. So I don't blame Eric at all. And I think he, he'll get over this easily. Eric will come out of this stronger, is my belief. Um, he's had a similar situation, but not quite, but as Ajax, when Noah Lang, who's a Dutch international, who's just landed in Doha with the Dutch squad, um, was having a bit of stardom, stardom around him. Uh, giving him a big mouth, uh, seeking confrontations on the pitch. Now, that was all visible. Most of the things here have happened on the training ground or away from everybody, apart from the incidents where Ronaldo walked away into the tunnel and left left the team. But when he, he clashed with Noah Lang, Ten Hag showed balls. He was really, really confrontational with him and uh, also showed that he was prepared you know, to forget it, work with him again uh, until there was the moment in the winter break, right, um, we have to do something here. And Mark Overmars, who was the sporting director at the time, said, OK, shall we put him out on loan? And you know what the answer was from Eric? No, sell him now. And this was kind of the, the, the signal I thought about when I saw this whole saga with Ronaldo in the weekend in his interview. I thought, there is no way he's going to have him back because if he does that, he loses the respect of the squad and of the team. Because mm. I know that every player in that United changing room has been looking at Ten Hag. Uh, of course, we talk to people, uh, you know, we, we follow what the Dutch old coaching staff is doing and the people. 
And if Ten Hag had made a, a special treatment uh, period for Cristiano that much, he would have lost all the respect from the players because they thought, oh, so there is a different way for him. And yet he's not performing that well. And we're here as a team. Yeah, and, I've, I've, tried to, I've tried to think what's going through Ronaldo's head. It must be difficult being Ronaldo at times. Forget his financial gains and his superstardom. But being, being Ronaldo, no one ever says no to you. No one ever like, questions you. And the minute someone said no to him, he's, I'm, I think he's going to be so sorry in the future that he's done this interview. Mm. Um, I hope he is as well, actually, because, well, t- I actually, I don't know. I find, I find the timing of it very curious because um, we, we aren't sure, Marcel, when it was filmed, but we have a little hint that it might have been filmed on Saturday. So that would have been in between two games that he missed through illness. So if I were a United fan, I wouldn't be happy with that for a start. And the idea of, of doing it with Piers Morgan, we, we all know Piers Morgan really well in this country. Um, and you probably could have predicted that it would be drip fed in the way that it had for maximum effect and maximum coverage and, and so much conversation around it. We've been told to wait to watch the whole interview, but you can't avoid it. The way it's been um, selectively let out in the way that it has. Um, apparently, the club are waiting to see the full interview before they decide what action to take. But he wasn't, didn't have permission to go and do this. Um, he's still a paid member of that club. I, I can't see. I just think it's indefensible. Um, Marcel, we'll let you go. But thank you so much for coming on this morning, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Thanks, Marcel. Cheers, Take care, Dutch football expert Marcel van der Kran there joining the uh, Talksport Breakfast Show this morning. Talksport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, six till ten, on AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.